Hey guys, it's Dwayne Huff with Band Leadership Seminars and Band Leadership Online. And I got a student question the other day, and I hear it almost every time I do a live event. I'm actually out on tour right now, been on the road for almost a month, working with some phenomenal band programs and student leaders. And um, I got an email this morning from someone I worked with yesterday, and they were like, Dwayne, I forgot to ask this question yesterday. Um, but I'm, I'm curious, how do I balance my friendships and my role as a section leader? More specifically, he said, how do I, I, how do I let um, the people in my section know that, yeah, we're friends, but I have a responsibility as a section leader, and how do I set those boundaries without alienating them or ruining the band experience for them? And that's, that's a great question, and it's, um, it's a tough one, you know, uh, because, again, you as a section leader or as a drum major – came from a place of peer-to-peer -peer where you were one of them, right? And in reality, you still are one of them. It's just you've been given a role as a leader. So let's approach this in a way that will help and serve you if you're having this challenge. Excuse me, if you're a band director, um, field staff, or anyone who um, uh, works with students in the band program and the section leaders who are struggling with this, feel free to um, drop a comment down here of your experience. I'd love to hear it and share it with other people. I, I don't have the only answer. I have my answer and my experience, and I'm going to share it. Again, also, for the students watching this and the band directors watching this, if you have another question, please drop it in the comments below. That's where these videos come from so I can serve you and give you the content that you're looking for. But let's jump into this. What I shared with this uh, student was simply the first thing that needs to happen is that immediately, beginning of band camp or right now, whenever you are, watching this video, if, if you're having this challenge between setting those boundaries and um, earning the respect of your peers and leading them even though you are one of them, the first thing you need to do is have a very honest, humble, open, and transparent conversation with the entire section where you say something to the effect of, hey guys, you know, um, we've been together for a long time, we've been in the section, um, and we're friends, you know, and I value that friendship, and I'm excited that you guys are a part of this section. And I find myself in a new position, um, you know, having the role of a student leader and a section leader. But please understand, I am still the same person, and I'm still your friend. Um, and I'm honored to work with you guys because I know how hard we all work together and how well we work together. So my commitment to you is to set the right example, do the best that I can, and always have your back. You know, So if you ever need anything, if you have any questions, or if you need my help, I'm here to assist and here to help. That's my role as a student leader. And honestly, sometimes, you know as well as I do, things are going to get intense. Some things are going to get tough as we go through rehearsals. And uh, there's going to be times whenever we might um, kind of bark at each other and we might um, say things in a harsh way. And uh, my commitment to you is to do my best not to do that, but to be respectful of you and um, th through this whole process. But please understand and um, and help me out. If for some reason I get out of sorts or I get out of line or cross those boundaries, don't hesitate. Uh, let me know. But I want you to know that I'm committed to this sec section. I'm committed to you guys. And I know we're going to do great things together. But I can't do this without your support. Again, we're friends. And there's going to be tons of time for fun, for entertainment, for laughing, for talking and joking before and after rehearsals. But my commitment to you is to be as focused, work as hard as I possibly can, and set the right example. And I invite you to let me know if I'm not keeping that promise. And all I ask in return is that you guys do the same thing with me. All in favor, and hopefully with your enth with your enthusiasm and positive energy that you just put forth, they'll all say I, right? So have that conversation with your section as a whole. Keep it light, keep it fun. Don't be weird. Use your own language. But the, the whole goal of that is just to simply know, hey, you know, we are friends. And, and in rehearsal, we're going to be friendly, but we have work to do. And I, the section leader, am going to do my best to set the proper example. I'm not going to ask you anything to do anything that I'm not doing. I'm not going to ask you to be any more focused than I am. I'm not going to push on you harder than I would push on myself. But I want your support and your help to make this the best that it can be. So there's an old saying that people support what people help create. And if you, if you bring them to the creation process and let them know that they're an equal part of the section and that you can't do it without them, they honor that because they feel like they're important and they're needed. But don't just leave it there. Don't just leave it at you know, that overall conversation with your section. After it, follow up with each individual in your section and have a similar conversation. 
you know, pull them to the side where nobody else is around. Maybe go to lunch. Maybe grab, you know, a soda or something and sit down and say, hey, I just want to circle back on that whole thing. You know, this is a new space for me. You know, I find myself as a section leader and we're friends and, you know, I'm always open to suggestion. And, and if you ever see anything that can help or support or make me better at doing my job, please open up. But I just wanted to connect with you and say, listen, I know we're friends. We're going to continue to be friends. I value our friendship. But I have a role as a section leader and um, I'm, I'm expected to do certain things. But more importantly than anything, I'm going to set the tone. I'm going to set uh, the example. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to focus. And all I ask in return is that you help me and support me by doing the same. Is that cool? And just put it in their court. And just, and just listen. And make them feel comfortable giving you feedback. Because it's in those private conversations where you're really going to see if they're buying in or if they're resistant. And if you connect and build relationship, which you should always be doing, that's the third factor of this whole thing. Starting now and every day thereafter, and not just when marching band seasons, constantly connecting, building relations, spending time building your friendships. The more they know you, like you, and trust you, the easier it's going to be whenever you have to insist or demand or correct. You know, and I think I think the better job you do of having the conversation with your entire section and the follow-up conversations you have one-on-one, -on -one, the less you're going to have to direct, to dictate, to correct, um, or uh, go out of your comfort zone to try to um, call somebody out. By, by the way, never call somebody out. Call a behavior out. Call it out generally, never specifically to a person. And obviously you know this, don't do it. If you ever have to call somebody out, don't do it in front of the rest of the section. That can only backfire. Because when you do that, people put their defenses up and they push back, right? And it makes your life difficult. So if you ever have to correct somebody, um, make sure you do it in private, off to the side, excuse me. Um, then build relationship. And if you're still struggling to create that balance between being a section leader and being their friend, um, reach out to your band director or some of the staff members or whoever, really the band director, um, and ask them, say, look, here's what I'm dealing with, here's how I'm handling it, what suggestions or recommendations do you have for me? And just sit back and listen because they have the wisdom, they have the goal, and it is their band program. You're simply there to serve and support and to help them carry out their vision. So I hope that has helped you. Again, um, band directors, if you'd like to add anything to this, please leave a comment below or drop a question. Same thing with the students. Guys, I listen and I read every single comment that comes my direction and every single question because I know how important it is for you to get the answers to these questions and I want to be that resource year round, not just during marching season for you. So if you uh, enjoyed this video, please um, like it on Facebook, give it a heart because it tends to spread a little bit more. Share it with someone who you feel might need to hear it. If you're on YouTube or on my Facebook page, please hit like on the Facebook page or subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified whenever I do these videos. And for the rest of marching band season, um, at least once a week, if not more, I've got tons of backlog questions, right? And so I'm going to start shooting videos on those, but I want to hear your questions too so I can serve you where you are. And until we talk again, remember you can inspire superior performance. You just got to be willing to set the example and lead with a servant's heart. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you soon.